All right, what is going on guys? So, yesterday morning, I received a message from Rapala asking if I wanted to try some lures out. Obviously, yes. <laughs> Can't think of anything else I'd want to do more. But yeah, so they sent me a few lures out. And then the next day, which is today, boom, lures arrive, which is insane because I've come all the way from Finland. So, today I've decided on a bit of a whim, um, we're gonna do a bit of an unboxing, see what they've sent, and then we're gonna go fish like a farm pond that I've never fished before. I've, I've kind of found it on Google Maps. Went out a walk around it this morning. Um, and yeah, we'll go try that out today. So yeah, stoked on this. Holding upside down. The parlor, arm stretching kit. Literally arrived from Finland within 36 hours, which is mad. But yeah, we'll get straight into this anyway. See what there is. Got a little note first. And then, into the good stuff. <laughs> First thing, super shadow wrap, awesome looking bait. Um, I was actually planning on fish, filming a uh, lure challenge video with this, which I might still do. Um, but we'll see, I think we might use it today. But we might we might save it for a uh, lure challenge video. So first bait, super shadow wrap, which is awesome. It's like super nice, realistic sort of Jerkbait, crankbait hybrid, so that's sweet. Next we've got some suffix braid, which is awesome. I've never used su suffix line before. Um, but yeah, 30 pound, 250 meters. Could be good for sort of my uh, light pike setup. Maybe my fixed ball rod. Um, yeah, nice looking braid. Eight strand. Sweet. So, yeah, I've got some braid. I've got a super shadow, shadow wrap so far. Next, some VMC coastal black hooks. Size four. So they'd be good for small, uh, small jerk baits. Um, but yeah, they are nice looking hooks. Yeah, that's the next thing, some coastal black hooks. Awesome. And this is sweet. We've got some nine aught swim bait hooks, which is something I've I've been looking for sort of eight aught to twelve aught swim bait hooks for uh, fishing sort of you know your fifteen centimeter size swim baits in uh, heavy cover. And now I've got some, so that's awesome. These are pretty hard to find. In this country anyway so yeah those are sweet I'll just see if I can find a shad somewhere show you how how to, how to rig these and that but yeah nice beefy swim bait hook there so I should be able to fish with like a uh, about 15 16 centimeter lure no problem with these well the only lure I could find with this uh, this fox one, which is about the length, not really a lure I'd use, but yeah, you pretty much uh, screw the uh, screw the screw in the front, like so, and just slot her in. Boom! And then you can fish your bigger. Your bigger sort of swim baits weedless. Decent amount of hook there for when it gets exposed. You know, so yeah, that's sort of the about the size of bait I'd want to use with a hook like this. But that's sweet. I'm definitely happy with those hooks. They are something that I have been looking for, so awesome. The VMC Mystic Predators, heavy heavy duty swim bait weighted, 14 gram weighted, which is decent. Belly weighted as well, so you should get a nice sort of uh, suspend as you pause, suspend and then a drop, so that's good. That's what I like. Right, next in the box, we have, this is an interesting one, the Rapala Scoop 
which is sort of like a plastic spoon, if that'll focus. Sort of like a plastic spoon for pike fishing, which is, you know, pretty unique. You don't really get stuff like this much. 68 grams, 14 centimeters, so it's a decent size layer as well. There it is. The power scoop looks awesome. Perfect little uh, roach size. Crazy profile on that. But yeah, I reckon that's got a pretty wild action to be honest. Scoop, two, two nice big trebles on it. Like I say, 68 grams, 14 centimeters. Swimming depth of about one, one and a half meters, which is, you know, pretty cool. That'll work. For where I'm going, I think that'll work pretty well. I'm not sure of the depth, but uh, it looks pretty weedy, so probably trying to fish above the weed. Next thing in the box, we have the new favorite lure, the Pito. And I actually lost mine uh, about three days ago. Left it on a, <laughs> lost it on a tree stump. So I'm happy I've got this. Rainbow trout pattern. Nice rainbow trout pattern there. Looks sweet. Man, these layers are just perfect. <laughs> They're just like the perfect size. They look awesome. I'm definitely looking forward to trying this out again. I miss, I've not had, I only lost mine a couple of days ago, but I, I do miss it already. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm stoked on that. Then the last layer in the box is the uh, Shadow Wrap Jerk Bait. There we go. Deep diver. Dives to 11 feet, I think it says. Deep diver 11, so I'm guessing that's 11 feet. So that'll be more for uh, fishing deeper waters, deeper rivers and such. Maybe target perch with it. Or chub. Or sea fishing maybe. Maybe it'll go for a bit of bass fishing, but there's the uh, jerk bait, three trebles on it. Sort of nice, nice minnow profile, so that'd be uh, yeah, perfect for targeting big perch or chub, or even pike really. But yeah, it's a nice looking bait. Looks like it'll cast far. <laughs> yeah, slow sinking jerk bait, so it'll have a nice suspend, even though it's a deep diver, it'll suspend nice. Um, yeah, that's sweet. Nice little perch bait there then. Not a lure I typically buy, so that's something that I'll, you know, I can improve my fishing skills using. So that's sweet. And that's the lures. And then, there are a few nice stickers. Got a roll of uh, the parlor ones. VMC Mystic Credit and a couple of VMC stickers as well. So that is, that is awesome. Thanks to Rapala for sending the layers out. Now we are going to go to the farm pond, which hopefully I can fish. I, I don't know if you're allowed to fish. There's no signs that say no fishing, so you can't fish it. So we're going to go to the farm pond. We're going to hopefully find some fish there. If not, I'll probably go somewhere else tomorrow morning and film a video because I'm not at work tomorrow so yeah I might be able to make a decent video and yes so see you at the fishing spot guys well guys a quick change of spot wasn't feeling confident in that last one with the uh, you know no wind and uh, clear water so I've come somewhere with a bit of coloured water not really got the colour of layers while they sort of water but I don't know, not fished here in over a year, so we'll see what happens. Oh, that stinks. Well, that's interesting. Obviously someone doesn't like pike around here because
because they've caught this for this like I don't know mid double. Oh, I don't want to touch up my rod. <laughs> caught this sort of mid double, freaking gutted it, chucked it back in. Oh, so that you can see it's had its belly cut open like. That's, wow, that's the biggest pike I've seen in this canal. That's freaking huge. Someone's gone and killed it. Oh god, that's heavy. That's over 20. I'd say that that would have been about a 25 pound fish. And someone's... Someone's gone ahead and gutted it and chucked it back. That's absolutely ridiculous. Well, Pito's not having much attention today. Um, not sure whether it's the coloured water or what, but uh, a quick change of lure. Try out the scoop. And it's like a perfect, perfect size and colour for the, uh, the roach that are in here, so. Yeah, should be a good bait for this canal. Gives off a ton of rattle as well. Let's see what that looks like. Got a nice kick to it. Definitely draw some attention. Hmm. I'm gonna go back to the pito. Simply because I don't have a swivel. I can see myself getting some pretty bad line twists with this without a swivel, so we don't want that. So we'll go uh, we'll go Pito again. Oh no. First goddamn follow when I pull it out of water. Is that Come on. It's a big fish as well. I think I just spooked it. Oh, damn, man. That was a big <laughs> big pike I even. Jesus what? Yes, missed him now. <laughs> First actual hit today, man. It's been tough, very tough. Small fish. <laughs> oh my god. Very small. But it's a fish. Put him in there while I get my pliers out. So he's managed to get the treble in. There we go anyway, that's literally the smallest fish I've ever caught out of this canal. But it is a start on the uh, on the pito. Smashed that pretty hard actually. <laughs> well, I'm surprised that even got up. Just uh, fishing. Fishing fast, working my right way down on a canal. Smashed it. Uh, 
can't complain at that <laughs> on a slow day. Man. It's literally about as big as that last one. <laughs> Hooking about the same spot as well, so I'm gonna have to get pliers. That was <laughs> man, that you won't see that on camera, but <laughs> I, I was pulling it and then I saw him, stopped it, and he just went slammed it and then just stopped with tail in his mouth and just sort of sat <laughs> sort of sat there with it, set the hook and he was just man, mental. I can't believe how many small pike I've been catching this last few weeks. Another little half pounder. <sighs> but better than no fish. That's funny, so I've, I've been here, you know, hour and a half, not had a bite, and then I've had two little tiny ones in uh, sort of 15 minutes. Bit of a weird one. Just missed one. Come on. Just a small hit, but it's a hit. Let's see if they'll come back for it. There we go. Yes. <laughs> That's a better one. There we go, third fish then. Kind of just bumped it first time and then came back for it, smashed it, so that's sweet. There we go, hooks are out. <laughs> little, little pound and a half fish. But it's better than, uh, better than the first two I caught. That took a minute to untangle, but well, third one today on the pito, Tail, tail's freaking hammered man. <laughs> they love it. Well guys, I think it's about time I give uh, the pito a bit of a rest. Try out a different way for a bit. He's had some hammers, poor lad. Tails absolutely hammered. So I'll try the shadow wrap, I think. Such a nice finish on that. Slightly see-through as well. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, that could be money today. Big profile. Just looks perfect as a roach or a small bream, maybe. Well. Just put my last GoPro battery in. So we've got probably about an hour left to fish. Um, but yeah, we've fished for about four hours so far and it's been, it's been very slow progress. Just, they don't seem interested at all. Caught three, missed one and had one follow and that's it. So yeah, I mean, it doesn't sound that bad, but I don't know. <laughs> think from this this place I was expect to catch quite a few so I had high expectations but you never know might pick a few up in this last hour like all three fish that I caught did come within about 20 minutes of each other so yeah 
Uh, you never know, might get a bit of a window like that again. But um, the wind's picked up, which might help things out anyway. There's a fish. No. No, no, no. Come on. That took so long to get another bite. It just came off. Might, might take it again. Please take it again. <laughs> like a good whack of that as well. last sort of 100 meters of canal put the potato back on trolley back to the car and then we're done i'm freaking tired it's been a tough day but you know it's been a tough week really i've probably been out last sort of seven days i've been out maybe four times and only caught one other pike so today's been a, been better than those days, to be honest. But yeah, it's been a slow week. It's been a big change in weather this last two weeks, uh, which will kind of mess the fish up a little bit. But you know, kind of just got to push through it, and you sometimes still caught fish. Pretty much fished at like the worst time of day. So it's like midday now. It's half past 12 actually. So, yeah. Oh, batteries. Well, if I catch another fish, you probably won't see it because my uh, low battery light's flashing. So, <laughs> that is going to be the end of the video. Uh, so, yeah. Hope you've enjoyed. A little quick session fishing with mainly this bad boy. Tails knackered. But, yeah. I catch a, uh, if I catch one on way back to the car, I'll probably just show it on the big camera. But yeah, that'll about do it for this video. So catch you guys next time.